I'm Drew Stevenson, and this is a lecture for my professional responsibility class about Model Rule 1.16D, which addresses the duty to keep assisting a client with at least the transition after the representation ends. So this applies if a client fires you or you are forced to withdraw after the representation um, that is already underway. Keep in mind that D, subsection D, is probably the most heavily tested part of 1.16 on the MPRE. And I will try to hit the highlights that I think will help you on that exam and on the exams for my course. So let's dive in. Rule 1.16D is really about duties that a lawyer has to a client after the termination ends. So it says, upon termination of a representation, a lawyer shall take steps to the extent reasonably practicable to protect a client's interests, such as giving reasonable notice to a client. Don't just ghost a client or stop responding to them when you don't want to represent them. You have to notify them, and it's always safer to do that in writing. Allow time for employment of other counsel. So it takes a while for them to find another lawyer, and you should do things to make sure that they're a uh, case gets continued or uh, post matters get postponed or delayed while they have time to do that. Here's an important one for the MPRE. They almost always ask about this. Uh, surrendering papers and property to which the client is entitled. So you might be resentful that the client um, fired you when you were really working hard and doing a good job and you spitefully don't want to give their papers back or their um, documents or their birth certificate or marriage certificate or things like that. Well, you have to. You have to surrender papers and property to which the client is entitled. And if the client paid you some fees up front that you put in a client trust account and that you're kind of drawing against as you earn them, um, you have to refund any advance payment of a fee um, or expense that has not been earned or incurred. Now, Keep in mind, and they do ask about this on the MPRE pretty frequently, a lawyer may retain papers relating to the client to the extent permitted by other law. And we'll come back to that in a moment. Even if the, this is from the comments, even if the lawyer has been unfairly discharged by the client, and sometimes clients will fire you for terrible reasons or um, no good reason, a lawyer must take all reasonable steps to mitigate the consequences to the client. And a lawyer, and under su some circumstances, may retain papers as security for a fee, but only to the extent permitted by law. So every state is going to have some rules, either court rules or a statute for basically lawyer liens on the client files. Keep in mind that jurisdictions differ on whether and the extent to which a lawyer may assert a restraining lien on a client's papers or property as a security for the payment of legal fees. Regardless of what the jurisdiction permits, lawyers must take appropriate steps to protect their client's interests. And that concludes our videos about ABA Model Rule 1.16, which is about declining and withdrawing from the representation.